Let's take a quick look at some highlights of the new features in this release. From the new Welcome screen, you can directly create a new drawing or open recent drawings. And you can access online resources like Autodesk 360, your Autodesk connection to the cloud. Cloud Storage enables you to store and share your design data online in your Autodesk 360 account. The automatic cloud storage setting controls whether a copy of your drawings is automatically saved to the cloud by default. But you can change that for each drawing individually. Autodesk 360 also enables you to sync your custom settings. If you need to work on multiple computers, for example, you can save your settings to the cloud from one computer and then sync to the cloud from the second computer to quickly set up your work environment the way you like it. The new annotation monitor keeps track of associative dimensions and highlights any that become invalid or dissociated, making it easier to find and fix them. There are also additional features for creating arrays. For example, for path arrays, there's a new measure option that automatically adds additional objects to fill the array when you lengthen the path. You'll also notice some enhancements to the command line. For example, options for commands are now clickable. And for the floating command line, you can easily change the number of history lines to display to use a smaller area of the screen and still quickly access a full history flyout by pressing F2. Explore the online help and other resources to learn more about the new features in this release.